Hello guys, so today we're gonna be doing a bit of a coffee talk. Yeah, it's really full. I don't know if you can see, it's like five o'clock. I'm drinking caffeinated coffee. Gotta be in bed by like nine o'clock. Totally fine, y'all, don't worry. So yeah, let's just get right to the chase. No, you're not seeing a ghost. So I know I've kind of been gone for like two months, but I have reasons, I promise. You know, I was in Cancun, I was moving, I got a promotion, I've been in grad school, I've been doing all the things. But, good news is, I got moved into my new apartment, and this is my bookcase in my new apartment, if you obviously couldn't tell, I got, I'm like digging it, I even got this little Buddha guy chilling, this little Buddha guy, I got Buddha, but like not really Buddha, just hanging out back there, so yeah, that's cool too. But anyways, back to the point. I am now settled in my new apartment. I've got a break from school. I'm kind of settling into my new role at work. So things are much better than they were. And I kind of disappeared for two months because I've needed a break from everything. I've just been kind of in a slump and I had to find my way around it and to get back into my groove. But I think I finally found my groove. So it kind of, let's talk about that for a minute. So being, a writer and writing in general is it's hard it's really hard because I've reached the point several times where I'm just like you know what it's easier to not write it's easier to just disappear and pretend like nothing's going on like yeah you know I'll just disappear nobody will even notice and nobody would probably notice unless I pointed it out myself which I'm doing right now and I'm very inconsistent with things sometimes, but I've made a decision that it's time for me to be consistent, to stop running away from these things that scare me, such as writing and putting myself out there and being consistent and having a schedule and actually sticking to it, even though grad school, you know. But that's not going to stop me because I know I'm the type of person when I make my mind up about something, that's it, I go all in. And that's what I've decided to do because this is something I'm passionate about. I like writing. I like being organized. And to me, writing is kind of an organization skill because things just kind of do this. It's like a marriage, you know, to become one. But anyways, so I've decided that no matter what, I'm going to continue on with this. And I have been thinking about my next work in progress, which is going to be a fantasy story following Willow. And she's basically going to be finding herself and... It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a whirlwind. And I've been thinking about subplots and getting all the things together and all the characters together. But point is, I do have a story in mind. I just have to outline it next week and then start writing it. Speaking of, I'll be making a goals video. I've already got my 2018 goals put down. And writing Willow's story is the number one. And then I actually did the math to see about how many words I would need to write a day and that would be 500 so totally doable it's just a matter of actually sitting down and doing it but I've decided I'm going to do it so I'm gonna do it it's gonna happen I've done it before I did NaNoWriMo if I can do NaNoWriMo I can write a book in six months like it's going to happen nobody's going to stop me not even myself so anyways I do that a lot just think anyways moving on next point so <laughs> next point I'm also going to be doing more YouTube videos and actually doing YouTube videos that I would find helpful as a writer. The YouTube videos I write, I mean not that I write, but the YouTube videos I watch to make me a better writer, those are the videos I want to be putting out because when I do research about things such as world building, which I have definitely been doing a lot of research about world building, so I want to make videos that help people who are also going through those struggles and since I've already put things together, why would I not share that information and knowledge? That doesn't make sense. So that's going to be my focus going forward. And no, I'm not an expert, but I'm making myself realize that, that no one is an expert. It's just a matter of trying to make things work. <laughs> you just learn all the information and you do what you can with what you have, but there's no way in the world that you're going to have all the information that you want or need. So that in mind, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to share what I find and hopefully what I find and my experiences will help other writers and people who are going through the same struggles that I've gone through as well. And I'm also going to have a consistent schedule, but I haven't decided exactly what day is going to work best. That'll probably happen once I get my schedule for next semester. 
well, not schedule because it's online, but I mean, you know, they have due dates. Like, oh, every Sunday you have to have your discussion board, blah, blah, blah. That's what I mean. So, I will be doing a writing video every week, and I'm going to try to do vlogs. I'm not entirely sure about that yet because my life is actually pretty routine, pretty not very interesting. I mean, I wake up at 5, I go to work, I go to the gym, I come home, I do things like this, or I read, or watch Hallmark movies. <laughs> You know what I'm saying. Drink coffee. And I'm in bed by 8.30. Like, asleep by 8.30. By 8.30. You guys, like, I'm 24 years old. I am a grandma. But you know what? I'm going to own that. That's who I am as a person. If you're a night owl, be a night owl. I am no longer a night owl. I, like, sleep way too much to be about that life anymore. So, it is what it is. Anyways, I'll wrap this video up. Yes, I've been a ghost two months. I've been going through a lot of struggles, and I will talk about more of those struggles later. And one of those things has been fighting with both depression and anxiety. That's been a huge problem, and I want to share that journey and issue with other people, too, because I know I'm not the only one. I'm not. I, we just don't talk about it. We don't talk about those issues. We never do. We kind of just, like, sweep it under the rug, conveniently forget about it. Well, I'm going to talk about it because I know someone else needs to hear it. And I've learned a lot along the way, so I'm going to share that. So back, anyways, I'm out of my slump now, I'm moving on, and I'm going to have writing videos up every week. I'm going to try to do vlogs, again, undecided, and I'm going to do this thing like I am doing it. No one's getting in my way. No one. No one. Now, was that impressive? I don't know. Yeah, so, wrapping it up, have a great weekend, a great whatever you do, holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, don't celebrate, have a great weekend, hopefully you also have an extended weekend and you can do something fun, spend time with family, and I will see you guys next time.